We're taking a trip to Camelot in today's Entertainment City as we catch up with Jude Law to talk about his new medieval blockbuster, King Arthur, Legend of the Sword. Why does the sword reveal itself now? As your power increases, so do to the forces that will oppose you. Jude Law lets loose as the throne-stealing, tyrannical Vortigern in King Arthur Legend of the Sword. The big screen reimagining of the Arthurian legend reunites him with director Guy Ritchie for the fourth time. Terry Hart caught up with Jude via satellite to talk about adding a medieval villain to his resume. Hi, Terry. Hey, Jude. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Just great. This is really a classic movie villain role. Was it something that you just ate up? Yeah. There was, there was the, the opportunity, like you say, to sink my teeth into this kind of mythological villain. I like the idea too that the backstory gave us sort of a, a, a painful understanding as to the price he pays to claim the throne, the price he pays to hold on to the throne and the power that he seeks that he's sort of drunk on. When people fear you, it is the most intoxicating sensation a man can possess. King Arthur, Legend of the Sword hits theaters Friday. You just call me your daughter? Your high blood pressure is making you hallucinate. Blackish's Johnson family is getting ready to say goodbye for another season, but not before a finale nine months in the making. When we caught up with the cast, of course we had to ask them for some hints about the end of season three, but some of the stars were pretty tight-lipped. You ain't gonna spoil anything. Um, we did film some pretty good stuff, but we're not saying anything. However, one cast member did let a little something slip. We're gonna give birth. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can really tell you. We may have to introduce now. I'd have to say, this may be one of my favorite season finales ever. I know that's a big statement, but we read that script and everybody was just quiet. And if you know Blackish Table Reads, we're never quiet, ever. Find out for yourself what had the cast speechless when the season three finale airs tonight on City. Fletcher is a pop rookie, but not for long. Her song Wasted Youth has been hailed as your summer anthem. The 22-year-old gave a live performance at last week's glamorous Suzanne Rogers Presents Diane Von Furstenberg Luncheon. We caught up with Fletcher there to talk about her budding career and what it feels like to be compared to the likes of Rachel Platten and Sia. It's been so crazy because I look up to these artists that I'm like being potentially compared to. I've found it hard for a really long time to be vulnerable and like open myself up. I think that's one of the most important things as an artist is to be vulnerable and that's what people connect with. They connect with like the human aspects of an artist, not all the perfect fake facade of, of what it's like to be a celebrity, right? Because that's not real. And coming up tomorrow, who are the most beautiful people in Canada? We'll have the list right here on Entertainment City.